Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about another advantage of negative feedback amplifier and that is noise reduction because of negative feedback amplifier. So, by applying negative feedback amplifier, we can reduce the noise. Noise means any unwanted signal in uh, output, okay, that is called noise. So, noise is not desirable for any output and it must be reduced as much as possible so that we have to design the circuit properly okay so by application of negative feedback we can easily reduce the amount of noise in the output so let us discuss about that see suppose this is one general block diagram of a amplifier where xs is the input uh, parameter it may be voltage or it may be current then with it some input noise added okay just to make mathematical uh, analysis we have added it with the in the summation block but generally what happens generally noise is automatically added in the input side okay so x noise is added and we are giving the input that is xs plus x noise in a amplifier whose gain is a1 and then we are taking the output across the resistor rl this is load resistor so from this it is clear that x output that is this one is equal to a1 into input and the input is xs plus x noise so basically x output equal to xs into a1 plus x noise into a1 so that's what i have written here this is the expression for output voltage now see what is snr SNR determines how much a circuit is able to reduce the amount of noise that is signal to noise ratio. If the SNR is more then the circuit is good one the design is proper so that the noise is less but if the SNR is less then obviously in the output the noise is more the circuit is not designed in a proper manner. This is determined by the parameter called SNR that is the signal voltage square by noise voltage square or signal current square by noise current square okay so basically snr equal to xs into a1 square this is output signal parameter and this is output noise parameter so that snr equal to xs into a1 square by x noise into a1 square a1 square a1 square cancels each other so that snr for this open loop system equal to x a square of t by x n square t t indicate these parameters are dependent on time obviously this may be ac voltage or ac current so it depends on time so snr for this open loop system is x a square by x noise square now let us see how can we improve a, the snr because we have to improve the snr to reduce the noise so how can i improve the snr by applying negative feedback we can improve the snr if we make an amplifier or design an amplifier in such a block diagram okay what we have added instead of directly giving input we have uh, we are passing the main input that is x a signal parameter volt that is signal voltage or signal current to a pre amplifier block with gain a2 we are assuming that this a2 block is not producing additional noise or if it is producing additional noise that is counted in this x noise okay let us assume in such a way then our uh, then our uh, numerical analysis will be simpler so basically here signal voltage here the feedback uh, voltage or feedback parameter voltage or current is subtracted so it is negative feedback then x2 is passed through a preamplifier block whose gain factor is a2 then it is uh, added to a noise which is denoted by x noise then the output is x1 of the summation block x1 is equal to x noise plus a2 into x2 okay clear so the x1 is then is passed through the amplifier block which we had in our previous block see we had a1 block the uh, with the x1 signal is passed through the a1 block and we are taking the output across the load resistor rl okay and we are giving the feedback whose feedback gain is beta okay uh, in our previous videos we have counted this beta as h in our this video 
we let us assume that the feedback gain is beta so basically here output voltage are entering uh, output voltage or output current is entering in the feedback block so output xf will be obviously beta into x output or x not clear because beta is multiplied feedback gain is simply multiplied with the output voltage output voltage is the input of the feedback block clear this you all know now we can make some uh, expressions or some equations from this block diagram see what are those first of all x2 of t x2 of t means this signal x2 after the first summation block what will be the expression see x2 is the output and the input is xs and beta x0 or beta x output that are subtracted so x2 of t is equal to xs of t minus of beta x output of t that's what i have written here x2 of t is equal to xs of t minus beta this is beta okay beta into x output of t clear now see x1 of t this is x1 signal what is x1 x1 is basically this signal is a2 into x2 plus here noise is added so x1 of t is equal to a2 into x2 of t plus x noise of t clear i hope these two expressions are clear and see x output of t this is the final output which is the output of the a1 amplifier block for which x1 is the input so x output equal to a1 into x1 of t that's what i have written here x output of t is equal to a1 into x1 of t so i hope these three expressions are clear now we will do some mathematical simplification through these three expressions see we already got these three expressions x2 of t is equal to xs of t minus beta x0 of t and x1 of t is equal to a2 x2 of t plus x noise of t here see this expression is that one and see x output of t is equal to a1 into x1 of t these three expressions we already got in our previous slide okay now see what we can do instead of this x1 of t we can put the x1 t expression in this equation this whole expression we can put here and we get x output of t equal to a1 into a2 x2 of t plus x noise of x noise of t so basically we have put this expression here clear now see multiply and uh, split this two uh, and you will get x output of t equal to a1 into a2 into x2 of t plus a1 into x noise of t clear now see this is x2 of t and we derived the expression of x2 of t is x2 of t equal to x s of t this is signal parameter it may be voltage or current minus beta x output of t so put this expression here and see what you get x output of t is equal to a1 into a2 into instead of x2 of t we put the expression that is x s of t minus beta x out of t x output of t plus a1 into x noise of t clear now see we can split this two and we get x output of t equal to a1 into a2 into x s of t minus of a1 into a2 into beta into x output of t plus a1 into x noise of t clear now see what we do we just take this expression in the left hand side and we get x output of t plus a1 into a2 into beta into x output of t equal to a1 into x s of t plus a1 into x noise of t clear now see take x output of t common in the left hand side and divide the expression of the rhs by 1 plus a1 a2 into beta then you will get this expression this is x output of t equal to a1 into a2 into x s of t by 1 plus a1 a2 into beta plus a1 into x noise of t by 1 plus a1 a2 into beta clear now see this is the signal voltage or signal current that means signal parameter input signal parameter and this is noise parameter so obviously snr will be this first term square by the second term square so we can calc this is the expression what we got uh, in our previous slide so snr equal to the first term square by the second term square you divide these two and you will get snr with negative feedback equal to x square into a2 square 
by xn square because this 1 plus a1 a2 into beta and here 1 plus a1 in a2 into beta cancels each other and a1 square a1 square will cancel only a2 square will left if you uh, calculate uh, first term square by second term square so basically see the snr with application of the negative feedback is equal to x square by xn square into a2 square previously when we have not introduced the negative feedback scheme then the snr was only x s square that is signal parameters it may be voltage or current signal parameter square by noise parameter square but now a2 square is multiplied so that we can say that snr is improved with application of negative feedback so we are getting a very important conclusion that due to application of negative feedback scheme the snr of the uh, amplifier is improved so that the noise is reduced okay so this is very important advantage of negative feedback amplifier and that is due to application of the negative feedback amplifier the noise is reduced and the snr is improved okay in this way we have completed our discussion on the advantage of negative feedback amplifier from our next video onwards we will start discussion on different types of feedback that is voltage series voltage sound current series current sound amplifier and analysis of feedback amplifier we will start in our next video thank you for watching